10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, it's not going to work with that kind of transaction completed. We're live at CNT. If you knew how hard it is to live without. Yeah, we did it. We got yeah, through check. another week. Yo, eh? uh-huh. it's us this week. It's DLE. DLE. It's quite a one big deal. It's C Dub the Entertainer. And y'all know what we do every weekend at 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. All right, we're a little late right now because we wanted to make sure we had this one tight. Right. Um, we got a couple of things we're gonna get into today. All right, we also had a female artist that was gonna come through, but you know she had a little injury during the show. She was tearing it down last night. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have her come up another time. But today, mm-hmm. but today. I'm a fan of R. Kelly, right? We all are. We don't hear nothing from the side, you know, the, the, the friends and all this other stuff. So my man C. Dub over here, <laughs> this, this, this man's here, man. T- please tell the people your story real quick so we can get this going. Uh, pretty much, uh, if you don't follow me, follow me at C. Dub the Entertainer. Uh-huh. Um, I had a little skit that I put up about R. Kelly, man, in the light of his uh, recent interview. Which, in my opinion, did him absolutely no favors. <laughs> but uh, during the but, interview, but everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's doing it. It's a lot of people doing it. SNL's done it. It's a lot of other uh, Instagram people that's doing the doing the yeah, yeah. you know saying little challenge or whatever. So so basically, this is what happened. Right? So basically, he, he's what happened to be humble was about it. I got a phone call last night. <laughs> Wasn't really welcomed I didn't know if it, What it was about Or anything right. And uh Come to find out It's from R. Kelly's camp Yes It's a guy Named uh Shorty, Shorty Mac, Mac. Mm-hmm. And Shorty Mac Is a R. Kelly artist So mm-hmm. you know I appreciate that You know I get I get the uh I get the big calls yeah. You know But that's why I make the big bucks Cause I can handle myself uh-huh. And pretty much You know we, we had a conversation I was like You know what Instead of airing Your grievances with me Right Do it on DLE Okay. And let's just see where it goes. That makes We're sense. gonna do a nice little intro because you know, like like a lot of people, I like R. Kelly music too. It's but boy, singing R. Well. Kelly music is almost like the equivalent of singing the national anthem. You know, you just gotta kind of take it with a grain of salt and be like, you know, at least it's good. You know, everybody knows. Yeah. But it is what it is. My man's want to call me. He want to call me out. Hey. I, I, I said we grown men. We grown men, so we're gonna have a little nice little convo tonight today, you mm-hmm. know, and talk about it. I don't think that uh there should be any animos- animosity. I do feel like uh R. Kelly do need some of his camp to step up and say something, mm-hmm. you know, in, in his behalf. So at this point, let's um let's get into the song, right? It is Sunday. So what we gonna do, we're gonna go to a song and we're gonna come right back. You did we're gonna get into the Sunday from Young Rock. If y'all don't know Young Rock, y'all better check that kid out. The dude, nice. All right, so we're going to get this Young Rock on, and then we're going to come back, and we'll get into this old phone call. You dig? Yeah, DLE Radio. Stop playing. Yeah. Came through late on Sunday. Came through I can't hear myself on Sunday. Sunday. Came through late on a fun day. Only going up, that's a one way. Hey, hey, so drunk that I can't make it back to my room right now, yeah. Hey, hey, so faded, I try to make it back to my room right now, yeah. Hey, getting hit on Sunday, hey, drinking any on fun day, hey, I'ma come through one day, hey, I ain't thinking about a Monday. Pulling up while I'm there, while I'm in Washington. Driving, yeah, watching her, rocking it, rocking it, side to side, and I lay it. Honestly, 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 you look like you belong in a magazine. Honestly, 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 you look like you a wife to be. Came too late on Sunday, came too late on Sunday, came too late on a fun day. Only going up, that's a one way. Hey, hey, so drunk that I can't make it back to my room right now. Yeah, hey, hey, so faded. I try to make it back to my room right now. Yeah, hey, getting hit on Sunday. Hey, drinking any on fun day. Hey, I'ma come through one day. Hey, I ain't thinking about a Monday. Obviously, honestly, honestly, so many bad bitches. 
bitches in and out my life. I got shiny in the layer. Let me hit it one day. I turn her ass and hit me back. She hit me with the L. Okay, damn. Look, throw that ass on a Sunday. Yeah, get you another only throw that one way. Hey, I'm coming through a coops like a video. But when I'm in your hood, you gotta get me though. Came through late on Sunday. Came through late on Sunday. Came through late on a fun day. Only going up, that's a one way. Hey, hey, so drunk that I can't make it back to my room right now. Yeah, hey, hey, so faded. I try to make it back to my room right now. Yeah, hey, getting hit on Sunday. Hey, drinking any fun day. Hey, I'ma come through one day. Hey, I ain't thinking about a Monday. Niggas in my spare time, killing every patch until a nigga doing mad time. It's a rare time when no one is caring, it's a paradigm. I swear, man, we gon' wake this shit out. Breaking every record that these hip hop niggas doubt. Abusing excuses with the truth in. You can't afford all the lies that your tooth give. Your whole shit is at stake, nigga. You ruthless. I mean, you ruthless with your own life. I make you niggas inactive with an ad lib on the back end. Who better at writing their own raps and composing a whole track with me? Mixing and mastering I'm just a master of my craft And putting it out Before I made my own way I suffered a drought The rap gang saturated I need me a house Detroit market The street rap Not boom bap The whole world in a weak trap Not these raps Repetitive I get it, I get it Same niggas hold guns Be screaming, he did it you a snitch and your mama know, bitch and your mama know I'm good in my city like shrimp grits out of Papa dough. They can't stop me though, I came up under grace and went ape like Garoppolo If you knew how hard it is to live without... You already know Yeah Yeah, talk to me So we back. That was Sunday from the kid, Young Rock. When I t- D Town stand up, yeah, D Town stand up most definitely. Right. Hey, yo, shout out to all the people with ashy feet. Crisco works just as good. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man. Anyway, I had a good week, man. Um, painful one, but it's been it's been I. I'm making it through. Um, what I would say is I don't want to waste nobody's time, and I think it's time to get. Um, the young man on the phone, man. Uh, Shorty Mac, you out here, bro? Yo, Shorty Mac. All right, we're going to see what's going on here. But uh, other than that, I do got something that I want to talk about. Young fellas, chill. I need y'all to chill. Um, from my understanding, uh, YBN Almighty J was jumped over the weekend. Oh yeah, um, I saw that. Yeah, they put some work in on that kid, man. And um, I don't know what the what the issue is, but uh, I'm guessing maybe it was a thing where uh, you know, the whole talking junk and everybody acting tough. You know, let's chill on that, young man, and let's just get back to this music, all right? Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and talk to my boy, man. Hey, yo, what's going on over there, Shorty Mac? You out here? Man, what's going on? Y'all know what time it is, man. L.A., we out here, man. What up, man? You know what I mean? Shout out to Georgia. You know what I mean? We out here, man. Period. My family from the South, too. Yo, yeah. Yes, sir. So, yo, this is quite a one big deal, by the way, man. It's my first time speaking to you um overnight man i just heard about you know you getting ready to swing through call and anything we do definitely want to just let you kind of ring out a little bit you know t- first of all i see you out there doing some work yourself so tell us about yourself man let us know what's going on with you man you know i've been in the music game a long time just putting my thing man working with artists like ray j 15 uh many more names like that man shout out to all of them man you yes, know man. uh I've been doing a lot of things, man, you know, I mean? so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just an ongoing thing and we just gonna keep it rocking. I've been True. doing a lot of songwriting with certain artists and, 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 
I'm just here to, you know, keep it 100 and, and keep it real all the way through. I don't sure know if y'all remember me on, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, say that again. Remember you on what? Because you kind of blacked out on us. I, 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 want I don't know if y'all remember me on VH1, you know what I mean? But, you know, I've been on a lot of certain um, shows and stuff like okay. that, man. I'm trying to do it big. Okay. It's your boy Shorty Mac. Okay, cool. That's what's yeah. up, yo. Yeah, I did see. I see you was working with Ray J. You, man, you, yeah, it looked like you've been working with a lot of people at that. Um, now, are you Kelly's um artist? Like, what what's the relationship there? Um, you know, uh, I got a very strong relationship um, with my music, and R. Kelly got a very strong relationship with his music. So it was kind of like you know we linked up, you know. Be, being the fact that we got love for music so right, that's yeah. really where it started i met r kelly at the playhouse club in hollywood oh, wow. i was dead broke okay <laughs> this was years ago i was dead broke yeah i'm saying i didn't have a dollar in my pocket because right. i have a lot of contract issues financial things going on true, uh, true. i'm no longer yeah i'm no longer signed to ray j i'm a former member of knockout entertainment okay. um you know, so when I left my contract, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I was about $2 million in debt. But, um, you know, I, I, I'm out of it, you and it's all it out. good. You roughed it out? Yeah, I roughed, I roughed it out. Right. Now, now when I met R. Kelly, now, when I met R. Kelly, it, um, um, that's when things started changing. That's when that's when uh, things started going up. So, okay. you know, I don't have, you know, nothing to say yeah, except yeah, the truth. Yeah, I, the yeah. Situation. no, no, that I get that i get and i think that's the thing you know we if you if you look at the media everybody out here you know clowning you know you know what this is it's you know you get on instagram you see everybody having a good time about all our situations for, for first and foremost us as black people one we kind of just you know we jump into it we all you know get a little vibe out of it we get a laugh out of it and then we move on we kind of forget about it later on um, but what we don't have, what we don't have, because what we have been seeing is the media um, on Kelly back. All right. And there's so many reasons for it. Everybody got their own feeling about it. But we don't hear from his camp. So other than what we about to talk about, what you should lay out when it comes to Kelly's behalf, I still want you to make sure you highlight your 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 highlights as far as career. So, tell us, tell, okay. get, get it off your mind, man. Get it off your mind so we could, we could talk this out, then we could get on to your, what you got going on. Mm -hmm. So, so really, really, so really what I just want to get at is, you know, I mean, I just don't understand why people don't um, see through the, see through the fake and see through the phony. Um, you know what I mean? A lot of, a lot of this stuff is being staged and, and, and scandaled mm -hmm. and stuff like that. People just don't see the truth. So I'm just here to tell the truth, you know what I mean, and, and keep it 100 the whole way through. So, you know what I mean, as far as me, me meeting, meeting R. Kelly and, and stuff like that, you know, I ain't, I ain't never had a situation where this man has held a woman against her will. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, uh, Joyce, Joyce Savage is like a big sister to me okay. just because I done spent so much time with her. Right. And, and basically I'm here to tell you that, that all of these allegations are false. They're mm -hmm. lies. And they're all just congregated together to get money. And if anybody, and if anybody using their common sense, they'll understand and they'll see that. Yeah, it, it is some it is some um, spots that I am catching that I felt like, especially with the interview that Kelly just did, made a lot of sense from what he was saying. And I, I just, you know, in my heart, bro, I didn't go book. I got three. I got three steps daughters. You know what I mean? And my first reaction is to protect them you know cousins and stuff like that so of course you know you see the documentary and everything and the first thing come to mind is what it is you know um but i'm still the type of person that like to see the the entire situation play out first before i make any judgment or whatever mm -hmm. um see though what you like you know I know that you and Shorty Mac kind of like linked up. So exactly what is, you know, what 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 kind of angle can we go? I mean, the angle that I've been going is the only thing I can really offer R. Kelly is prayer. Mm. Cuz as a comedian, yes, I'm a, I'm gonna poke fun at it. 
because I don't feel as though the interview he did did him any favors. It, it didn't really do anything. I feel like I feel like it did a lot for him because mm-hmm. he he. he He's telling he's telling the truth, and, and he's showing y'all his side of the story. Now these women get on these interviews, crying their eyes out. Excuse me, crying their eyes out, and all this stuff like that. And and this man sheds sheds a couple of tears, but every time R. Kelly does something, it's fake. It's mm-hmm. it's a joke. It's this and it's that. Come on, my dude. So, Come on. So my what dude. all I'm saying <laughs> is, with all the clues, the tapes, yeah. the witnesses, and the you fake know, is tapes. it right? The is fake it fake clue? I mean, hey, hey, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I used to sell that tape back in 2001. I made a lot of money off that tape. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now, too. Mm-hmm. If there's a tape out there, if mm-hmm. there's a tape out there, mm-hmm. and they're saying that it's with R. Kelly and an underage girl, they're, they're sadly mistaken or they're lying. That's yeah, period. Okay. Now, what I will say, the girl was not the same girl that they tried to justify in that courtroom. And uh-huh. what I will say is this. All if right. that is R. Kelly on the tape, that girl is not 14 years old or nothing like that. She is 18 or up. Hey, I'll say this uh, right now. If if that's if if what you're saying is true, I will eat crow. I will go to the store myself and flambe it myself. Because, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's going to have their opinion. Everybody's going to take side. But the only person who should be the most concerned is R. Kelly and the women. This is this is a. If, if R. Kelly can stand trial, but, I've been, but, and, but when I've been spending time in that house with these women, mm-hmm. y'all can't tell me when I didn't see these what women see. walking past me. Right. When right. I didn't see these women walking past me, you cannot. I've and, never seen nothing like this see, going on. And see, that's the dude. thing. That's mm-hmm. the thing, right? For me, th- when I first seen this, or when I first, because at first I wasn't even going to watch it, but when I first started checking in on what's going on. Um, I'm concerned because I'm like I know people are around, right? Mm-hmm. So all we hear, and this would this would really throw us off. All we hear is the ones that's inside this document, right? Running, you know, with what's going on, and it, that's all they give us. So the dope thing is that you that's that's why we we, we sh- should have you here, and should have other people here to talk on his behalf because you know everybody up in arms right now, right? You, you know what I'm saying? So what? What did you see going on? Because I, I hear what you're saying. They, you know, everybody was over 18, yada, yada. You know, how, how can you prove, not prove, because we also can't prove that he's guilty right, right. now. All, no. all, it's, only it's thing we know is innocent until what, proven guilty. Yeah. I mean, we, we at least give him that. What's, uh, go ahead. It, my question, and here's a question for me. If he's, if, if this is a battle for money, mm. he just got arrested for not being able to pay his child support. To Andrea, so where is you know, it's taking him months to pay back 160 grand in child support. So if this is a game of money, like where's the money coming from? It, like why are these women attacking him for for money right now? Well, I'll tell you that when you don't live the lifestyle, mm-hmm. and, and and a man and a man also has said, you know, I got your back and stuff like that uh, financially, mm-hmm. and you know if. So and 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 when you know that that supply cuts off when, when when that person says you know what I don't need you at my house no more I don't want you at my house no more after 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 giving away so much to these women mm-hmm. because the real I want to tell y'all the real victim in this situation is R Kelly and what I want to say is I don't see certain things like these women beg this man for, for money, beg this man to get their nails done, mm. beg this man to uh, buy them this and buy them that. And I'm mm. saying they coming up on aggressively. They they coming up on him aggressively, shaking his feathers in his jacket. I've seen it all, man. So what I've seen from a lot of these women that are even on this documentary right. is that they were the aggressive. They were the aggressive ones. And stuff like that. And I can't speak for what's going on with him and his wife. But this man can't even see his kids. I mean, what kind of woman? I mean, for real. What kind of woman don't let a man see his kids? Right. There's a lot There's a lot of that going on in the streets, period. You know what I mean? So I, I, that, I can believe that happens. Because but he's rich. Say that and again? a celebrity. But he's rich. Right. And it's not like he don't have no money to take care of his kids. Is right. what I'm saying. So let me let me ask you a question, Mac. Um, would would we don't uh, have you been around? And, and you can only tell us what you've seen. You can never, only tell you what I right. I speak on it. I'm ready. Right. 
you've never seen <laughs> you've never seen no young 14 13 year old girls walking never. around the studio no. what you're saying no no all right and no. you've never seen this whole uh no. girls being locked up in rooms or whatever no right. no i haven't never nah. so pretty much you said kelly was just on some pimp shit he was just pretty much he had some old age because i'm uh, 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 i'm gonna tell you hey mac i'm gonna tell you some real oh, it's oh, right. I'm gonna, it's I'm like, say this. go ahead I'm going to say this. He was on some Hugh Hefner shit, and people that's, don't want to bring that up. That, and that's, yeah, that's, the, that's, that's the thing that we was getting, the, you oh, know. You know what? I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I am up here cussing. I, I would like to apologize to the, yeah. to the people out there what, in the world. Well, what, we was, what I was thinking of, too, is at some point, it seemed like he was just being somewhat of a pimp, Mac, Player. whatever you would call it. You know, it, there is a lifestyle out there for that. Yeah. Um, I guess my thing is, overall, there's a lot of things going on out here, like sex trafficking. Um, a lot of missing young ladies are just disappearing. Like, young ladies are disappearing. And I'm not saying they went with Kells, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it, when I tell you that it took me a minute to understand what was going on for me to get involved with this whole mutant kelly thing it took me a minute man because i'm a big fan of this dude you know what i mean but then i got i'm a big fan of my stepdaughters so that was the only reason why i needed to look at things in different ways but it's dope that we would get these this insight from you now we ain't gonna kill you i, with, I mean like what, what you got something what I, don't you was gonna say? We, I don't think we need to look at it that way shout out mm -hmm. to your stepdaughters you know what i mean and everything but i don't think we need to look at it that way mm -hmm. because this man is not what they're trying to say that he is, is, is what I'm saying. All of this is lies. All of these yeah. are just rumors so, and allegations. Whether they new rumors, whether they old rumors, mm -hmm. they rumors. And, they, and they're not true. I'm here to tell you that. Right, right I, I can right. tell okay? you hang out with kills. This, that, like, but hell, here's a question I want to ask you. Do you have any children, daughter in particular? Yes, I do. All right. W would you feel safe with R. Kelly watching your children? I I've let my R. Kelly watch my kids multiple times. I don't have any problem with R. Kelly watching my kids. Um, that's perfectly fine. I done left my kids over R. Kelly house plenty of times. And, you know, he Man. he made sure that, that they was, you know, not around when, when people doing anything, you know, that they not supposed to do. Make sure my kids didn't see nothing they wasn't supposed to see. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a, a, um, R. Kelly and um, um, have a, you know, a relationship with my kids. He's very close with my kids, to be exact. And I and I have a daughter, and she's about 13. All right. All right. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? So, so look, um, what I was... Hey, it is if he, go ahead. Hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. It is if, if he ever did mm -hmm. touch my daughter or have any type of relationship with my daughter... It was, I would have I shot that nigga it, it, a long it, time exactly. ago. Exactly. Mm. And look, and, and that's the thing. Before you even said it, I already knew where you was going to go. I already knew where you was going right. to go. Because the truth is, I don't know. And, and this is the thing that got me up in arms. Because I don't know no parent that's going to allow their child to just roam and not have no say-so. Right. You know, so that's it's, this, is, this is a story. And the truth is, man, every time I turn around, there's, a, uh, there's, a, there's one of our people. Mm-hmm. That that is uh, that's doing big things that get dragged down, and they're not dragging down a lot of the the the, the other other people out there that's doing it. You know, the, some of the white folks that's out there doing it. So I'm 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 half and half, but I'm yeah. really leaning over to to I gotta I, like I said, it's yeah. my stepdaughter's gotta come before Kells do. But you know, we 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 just up in the ears, man. What, what you was gonna say? I, hey, I understand. Like you acting like he done. Did something to them or something? Like, come on. Nah, nah. What I'm acting like? What oh, I'm, no, this that, what, this I mean, what it is. Just as parents. Yeah, yeah. You, you gotta be you, concerned. You about gotta that be type concerned stuff. about type of stuff. That's that. I, I mean, let, because you know R. Kelly and you're so and you're in that circle. I, I I feel as though you you say you feel safe. Me personally, I would not not without any type of adult supervision. If I saw him walking down the street, I'm with my daughter. You know, hey, you hey, kills. Yeah, and uh, you know, and but, it's and and nobody does. Nobody knows the truth. Nobody really knows our kids. All do. we, all I we know. Do. Yeah, that's fine. You do. I don't. Right. And right, that's right. for me. That's for me as a parent to judge. So, for for you, that's fine because we live in America right now, and every time somebody has a new yeah. new thing where somebody is being attacked, 
all of a sudden we got to change our playlist. We got to change our playlist with R. Kelly, Jesse Smollett, and, and countless other people. We can't even watch the Cowboys show right now. We used to play all the time. Yeah, now, now you don't even but, see a single rerun. And, Every time one of our people are attacked or things like that. College football still comes on. You mm-hmm. still can stream uh, churches. Oh, yeah. You still can stream gymnastics, oh, yeah. which those have just as much pedophilia in it as these trials. Oh, yeah. And I'm not condemning R. Kelly on anything. I'm just saying when somebody's proven guilty, they got to do the time. So if R. Kelly can stand trial, not be acquitted, I'm, I'm saying go through a full trial where they actually say he is not guilty, I'll eat crow on that, and I'll move on with my life, mm-hmm. just like everything else, until the next time, they try, to, right until the next time they try to jump on another black man. Mm-hmm. You what, you, what, what you were saying, what you saying Matt? I promise, that. I, I promise y'all right now that we're going to get this all straightened out. We're going to get this all figured out. Shout out Steven Greenberg, because I love That's him. Uh, you know we have a great we have a great attorney and a right. great lawyer team that that deals with this situation is going to be dealt with in the court of law and and right now i don't feel that we should be double jeopardizing this man just because he was acquitted of another charge back in the day and then we want to bring up Aaliyah, and and i don't even believe that that should be affiliated with this situation shout out to Aaliyah and her family but her mom said that none of this stuff happened she made multiple statements during the time and then after the time during mm-hmm. the surviving our documentary on top of that like i said with the sex tape situation it was the girl that they said was on the tape said that it was not her her family said it was not her on top of that the, the girl did not even look like she was underage because she wasn't that mm. is the biggest secret of all with this r kelly sex tape i'm gonna be honest with this the biggest secret of all mm. r kelly y'all could take the judgment that r kelly a freak that R. Kelly might have did this and did that, but that girl was we, I not mean, we all age. know he a freak. I mean, <laughs> I mean, not in the way. Well, <laughs> my, look, here's my thing. I'm gonna tell hey, you I'm a, my I'm take. A, my hey, take I'm on a, all this is I don't, I don't, I don't care for people business at all. Period. I don't. This, this not what this show is really about. But what we do in our personal time, and you know, my my boy is a comedian, right? And um, how did this? How did this? Uh, boil down anyway. Like, I guess I'm the, guessing you hit me up on uh, Instagram, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. I so, did. So pretty much, you know, I I I had a skit just like anybody else. But I'm tired. Of the lies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, we ain't here. I'm, you, I'm man. tired of, and I'm tired of the jokes, and I'm tired of all of that. Mm-hmm. This man should not be joked on no more. We done joked on this man for how many years, yeah, man? Yeah. Come hey, on. Hey, I, hey, he hey he been in the game thirty years. Seinfeld's been in the game for years. So here's here's my thing though. Entertainers they get yeah, no, it is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. It, part as, of the, as comedi- part as comedians, of that that is what happens. This Go ahead. But, we yeah, it, this man worse. Than yeah, yeah. It's been uh, yo. Trust me. It's times when I felt like, damn. I wonder if this is really you know. Mm-hmm. But here, here's my thing, Mac. As entertainers, right? You're an entertainer too. You know. You know. You got. You do your producing. You writing. You ghost write. You do everything you got to do, right? Um. There's so many people right now coming at Kells, making all kinds of videos. What was it? And this the reason why I'm at. It's the reason why I'm about to ask you this. What was it that nope. made you feel like he uh, C Dub was the person that you should at, at least address? Because I'm glad you did, honestly. Well, to be honest with you, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's been a long road for me. Right. It's been a long road. It's been a long road and a long time coming. Shout out to y'all for doing what you do, sure, and I just want to say that. Uh, no problem, man. I just want to say this. Um, it's not about who I contacted. It's about why yeah. and the reason that I contacted you. Now, I don't con. I don't, this is not the first interview I, I've been on. About ten interviews, radio stations, all that. You know, what I'm saying for the right. past days since Kelly went to jail. Or Kelly begged me. He said. He said, "Shorty." I said. I said, Rob, he said, Shorty, I said, Rob, he said, listen, I don't want you to go online and say anything to try to defend me because they're going to take your name down. I said, Rob, I don't think I can do that. Right. So listen, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Anybody that's been tweeting, because we have to treat this like the FBI on our end for our Kelly. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I don't receive any fees for this or anything that I do. Right. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Still, I'm doing this. Because out of the heart. I, I really... That's your yeah, man. That's your heart. man. That's your boy. That's your man's in them. I, I, yeah. I've been contacting everybody 
that's uh-huh. been met, talking about R. Kelly, uh, uh, saying anything about R. Kelly's interview. I've been contacting everybody from news stations to radio stations everywhere because it's time that somebody clears the air. It's some. It's time that somebody tells the truth because that's what we're not doing, and that's what people don't even want to hear yeah. or want to believe. I, and, and I honestly think that was a dope move on your behalf. If that's your boy, that's your man's, you ride for him, and you get that word out there. You know, I'm just, I'm honestly, nope, I'm thankful. That, I'm thankful that you reached out to us. <laughs> word. Um, Don't even worry about it. Nah, Don't definitely, worry about definitely it. thankful that you reached out to us, and it was able to be, uh, you know, sorted out to where you know we all understood. Because the truth is, uh, I just like how you got to speak behind your boy. I got to speak behind my boy. He's a comedian, and when it comes down to any post he put up there is really because he's he got this funny bone in him you know um i've seen yeah. i've seen look block boy is on instagram doing the same thing clowning cows i want to say this uh-huh. go ahead <laughs> bro well sometimes when people joke on people mm-hmm. you're gonna hear about that you're gonna get a phone call you're gonna get this and that and the other y'all didn't expect to get a phone call about this r kelly shit Excuse me for my language. Oh, and I, I'm not, oh, good. I did. And hey, hey. why did everybody want to contact you? Is not expected because uh-huh. they didn't think that somebody's watching this closely. Best believe I'm watching closely, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Every hour, every minute, I'm watching closely, man, because I'm tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. tired of it, man. I mean, these y'all killing me even with this shit, man. To mm-hmm. be honest, man. Yeah. Did you catch so SML like, yesterday? Why? They they was talking so about it. Like, yeah, everybody talking about it, man. But Listen, this is what we do. Shout now, out to King of Town. What I would like to do, because like I said, I don't I don't care two bits about people info and business. I try to keep that I try to make sure this show ain't about all that. But I did want to make sure that you came and you spoke your piece. Now tell us about you, your music, where you from. I know you from Cali. I know you've been working with a lot of people. I seen I, you know, of course I did my research. Um I know how you rap. I know how you get down. Tell us something. What's going on with you, man? What's going on with you, Shorty Mac? What's happening with you? I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on with me, Mm -hmm. but it's a lot going on with me. Right. Mm -hmm. Talk like what? Give me one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So why you why you do that? We gonna let's. What you got, man? You got something? Oh, I did say something about the YBN kid, man. I just hope everything sort out with that and um. You know, y'all young boys, stay away from this uh, street thing. If y'all not street, man, and y'all talking, talking, you know, stay away from it. You don't have to get into it. Just have your fun with the music and climb back from the street stuff, y'all. Simple as that, you know. Um, because now that the boy the boy in the hospital now, split face and everything, man. They stomped on him and everything. Yeah. Uh, I saw that this morning. Now it's like po po child, and it's all this this chain snatching stuff. I'm we back to that, cause in, in Detroit you got your chain snatch and you was a no fly zone. I think Rick Ross was a no fly zone in Detroit for a while. Yeah, I had a couple of people that was a no fly zone, like uh, Shug, uh, Shug, yo, hey, Shug. yo, what's going on? You back? Yeah. All right, that's a bet. We I'm was ta- we was we was talking we was talking about this uh, Almighty J thing. This young kids man in the show. Yo, what you think about that man? I don't know if you know anything about it. Uh, Almighty uh, YBN and Kiss YBN Almighty J was jumped and robbed out in New York or whatever, you know. But they're young boys. You know, Go ahead, talk. You know, so honestly, honestly, that's that's very unfortunate. And I also want y'all to do an interview, um, um, uh, 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 just about how you know all this type of stuff goes down in the in the rap game one right. day, and we could talk about. It. You know what I mean? But um, it's unfortunate what happened to YBN. Shout out to him and what he got going on. I don't know what he got going on. You know, I only pay attention to, you know, uh, you yeah, know what, what you got what, going what I, on. Yeah, but yeah. you know what I mean. Shout out, shout out to all these young artists that's out here doing that thing. I want to encourage everybody to go independent because um, I'm dealing with a lot yes. of issues right now. My record label, and I yes. want y'all to notice. Um, I want y'all to notice, and 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 because of this R. Kelly situation, a lot of unfortunate things have even happened for me. So. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm just I'm just here to tell y'all the truth, man, and nothing it's, but the truth. It's kind of messed up when when you have something going on and, and everything under your domino umbrella, effect. the domino everything effect, under man. your umbrella will crumble. It's like, yeah. man, just yeah. like at some point, I for me, I gotta stay low. Like, 
it was when you got your own business and things like that you man everybody mm-hmm. relies on you well see the thing is too um and i'm sure mac can understand this um when you are under an umbrella such as Kells, man when that start having issues you start losing your only means of eating yeah you know what i'm saying and, and mac am i am i correct correct about that like it's you you, you yeah you, man <laughs> what happened to you? Yeah, you, man. you good, bro? Good, man. This shit starting to hit me now, yeah, man. Don't let it hit you too hard, bro. You got. I mean, you know, I know how. I know. See, that's the thing, man. It's, it's. You know, when when it start trickling, and I've seen it, man. I've seen it in many different situations, man. When things start trickling down, it trickles down to the to the to the men that's, you know, that's actually built that's that's holding that way. Yeah. Go I ain't ahead. Even, go ahead. What I'm saying is, this ain't even. Come on, man. Come talk on to down, me. Man. Nah, talk. I'm talk. You, I'm, you ain't gonna tell me to count. My, sorry, my publicist just told me. I, I'm no, gonna no, have you, you good. Walking. Talk, talk to us, bro. I'll have you walk back in the street for cap. Don't play with me, motherfucker. Better be on mute so these niggas can't hear this shit. <laughs> nah, nah, but we God, hear, we hear you, bro. We hear you, bro. Just come on, talk, talk to us. Tell us what you're trying, trying to get out. Look, let me apologize for that. I didn't mean it. Now nah, you go good, fam. Like you that. good, fam. Come on. Shout out to my publicist. Listen, listen. I apologize. Sometimes I just get a little bit carried away. Um, what what I want to say is, um, I can't even see my wife right now. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I can't even see my wife right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, my wife is what Andrea kept. Do y'all understand that? Yeah. My wife, my wife mm-hmm. is what Andrea Kelly right now. Mm. And she's on her side. Mm. I'm getting a divorce. I'm getting sued for, for $2 million, $2.5 million of what I worth. Because I'm worth half of that right now. I'm worth, I mean, $5 million right now. She's going to take half of that. Wow. This record label told me mm-hmm. Do you want a Lambo in your music video? Do you want a chain in your music video? Do you want a Rolls Royce in and, your music and, and video? They, and they charged all that to the budget, am I right? And I told them, I said, I, I told them, I said, listen, I said, I said, want a music? They said, shorty, I said, listen, I want to do all that. I need the I need the bitches, the big booty bitches. I, I love bitches. That's why I'm, that's another reason I, my wife. I'm in the club every night. Mm-hmm. I, I'm in the club every night. Trying to make that, trying to bring that and, paper. And up. I just I, I'm in the club I, I, and I love big booty. So when I see a big booty, yeah, yes, I, I, I just got to get on it. And my wife, <laughs> she just set me up, man. I mean, ooh. Seriously, dude. Seriously. Hold well, on, man. Yo. Hold on, man. Let's go ahead. Go ahead. I want every artist to go independent right now, man. Uh-huh. I want every artist to go independent right now, man. Because I owe my record label two point five million. I owe my wife two point five million. Listen, Damn. it takes ten million just to get me out of my contract. You know how many people I done talked to, and they said we gonna leave you in that motherfucker. <sighs> how am I supposed to go on tour? Mm mm mm. Me, me and R. You Kelly can't both even make, make yeah, yeah right, right. I was just getting ready me to say that. Kelly both, I'm getting dropped from Warner Music, bro. Mm, mm, I mm. am Shorty Mac. Me, it's really happening. This is real. This is real. This is not fake. This is real. Damn. This is really what I'm going through. My wife is with another man, and and this other man is Michael Ebenezer. Michael Ebenati has taken my wife. So let me ask so you. Let me, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go Keep ahead. going. Keep no, going. You go ahead. No, you go ahead. All my right. publicist told me to calm down. Uh, Maybe yeah, I'm yeah, a little yeah. Too. No, it, yeah. Listen, listen. I don't want you to. Yeah, because listen. You know, the truth is, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to have. I don't want. I'm trying to express this to a way where you understand that. We we don't want to make it seem like your information that you're giving out right now to us is for us to look at it in a playful manner. That sh- ish is ir- very serious. Um, I I for one know plenty of dudes, man, that um are in the music business. I was in it. I'm still in it, 
And I know how when that type of trouble trickled down, I know how it could hit a person. And you losing things and you trying to fight your way back up. And you know what, man? That's everyday life, too, man. That's like with normal people every day. There's people out here going through some real struggles just like you. So one thing I want to do is say I appreciate you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I I had a Rolls Royce limo. Mm -hmm. Pick my wife up. Mm. I had a Rolls Royce limo, man. Mm Mm-mm. So what's what's, my wife, uh, what's I married my wife. Her name is Whitney. Right. I'm a big fan of Whitney Houston. Right. Her father named her after Whitney Houston. Mm-hmm. And I married my wife. I had an Escalade limo pick her up. Mm-hmm. I, I I had Whitney Houston playing in the background. Right. Basically, you did everything. I can't, you, I can't even have a relationship with my own kids right, right now, man. Right, I'm going to be honest with right, you, man. Right. Y'all breaking me down right, right. now, man. I'm well, going to be honest well, with you, Let me you, tell man. you something. Tell it all, let man. me tell you something, bro. God, man, it's not man. even for you to break God, down, man. And I know man, that's, I know man. it's hitting you, fam. But, you know, what I don't uh, want is I don't want I don't want you breaking down. I don't want another black man breaking down because that's not what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, we're supposed to be building man. each other up. You know what I mean? And, uh, Shout out R. Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Shout out R. Kelly, y'all. Because if it wasn't for him, I, I wouldn't have even been able to, to get pay with... off that debt I had right. at the time. But now they want $2 million more dollars, man. It's like every <laughs> motherfucking year, these motherfuckers want some more money, man. man. And I didn't even make no music. Right. You just, you just been... So do you you feel like you kind of just... It's just basically you waiting on his man, situation. Ray J got the right to my publishing. Oh. Ray J stole the right... To my your, come on, man. Now, what's your what's your relationship hey. with this guy, man? What's what's going on with this with with Ray J situation? Okay, okay. Now, I'm, I'm I'm trying to calm you. I'm trying to climb you up off of the Kelly thing. I, <laughs> I want to talk. I want to get down to what's going on with you. What happened? What's this? What's this Ray J situation about? I, I was living in Sacramento. Right. <laughs> Take your time, bro. I was living in. Sac- I, I was living in Sacramento. Sorry, excuse no, that's me. That's good. Take your time. Cause I'm trying to hop in this car. And yeah. Just take a ride while I'm talking to y'all. I feel you breathe, homie, and, and be easy while you're driving. Be easy while you're you driving. Right. Let me calm down. Yeah. Let me calm down. Listen, I'm there, Ray J. I'm from Sacramento originally, and I moved to LA. When mm-hmm. I met Ray J, he took me in. All the shit. This man. This man. Told me at the end of my contract that I owe this nigga ten million dollars. This don't even got to do with the record label, bro. So I'm talking about if you don't give me the rights to your publishing, I need ten million. I said, Shorty. I mean, Ray. He said, Shorty. I said, Ray. I'm like, dude, I can't do that. I'm trying to figure out why. Why? Why did he feel like that was something that he should have been? Because I had, a, I wrote a lot of songs, man. I wrote so some you, songs for Brand. Go ahead. I, I was about to ask, well, who you ghostwrite for? I wrote songs for Brandy, man. I mm-hmm. wrote songs for Ray J, man. I wrote songs for B2K with R. Kelly, man. Yo, I you know what songs. I just thought about? You know who we got yeah, on the man. phone, bro? This Shorty Mac. That I remember. I now remember who the... I, boy, I was about to cuss, Mac. I some do. Re- on my name. I do remember. Yo, Mac, I, I got you. I know exactly who Mac is. He, he, you okay. actually didn't you um you was come you didn't you do a song with um Ray J and you was in a, y'all did a um song together or something like that we, did, we, did, we right? did a whole bunch of songs yeah. together bro I'm a, but you but you know what I mean but Ray you know what I mean did me like this wow but I'm still rich don't get it twisted I, now I, I got five you. million in the bank right plus, understood you know what I mean my assets plus my assets that's about ten fifteen so Man. so Ray didn't. You know what I mean? He think he got me. He got me, but he didn't give me. Because st- I'm still living. I'm still alive. You know what I mean? Right. I'm still here. I'm still a millionaire. You know what I mean? I'm still in Bentley's and all that. Right. But, but, but the thing is, he took my publishing. So, and I ain't gonna lie, this nigga took my royalties too. So, basically, oh, nigga, gosh. I'm not making any money from my... From my past music, all the songs I wrote for Brandy, 
B2K, everything. This nigga has all the rights to that, bro. That's how we developed Raycon. To be honest with you, the trial Raycon. just ended before he jumped up with Raycon. The, the, me and his trial. Bro, for, for this 10 million, all that. Just jump. You feel me? Because my music is worth about 20 million to, you know what I mean, 30 million dollars. That's mm. how much my music works. So, 10 million dollars would have been fine, but I didn't have it. Understood. Did you, um, who was you with as far as publishing? ASCAP, BM. Um, uh, BMI. I'm with ASCAP. ASCAP. I'm with, I'm with ASCAP. Well, honestly, to be honest with you, <clears throat> let me be honest. Let mm-hmm. me be honest, because I, I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and fiddle with y'all. Um, I don't even know who my publishing is. It's that serious that Ray J has all of that information, bro. Yeah, I don't. Bro. I didn't. I don't know, bro. You feel me? I don't know none of that, you, bro. You, you know, I don't know where my money. It, huh? the, the thing I don't about even know it, where my money going? Gosh, yeah. That you know the the, the every time the cra- I go to the bank. Uh huh. Every time I go to the bank, it's about three or four people around me, and they tell me that you can't come into the bank without us. So that's you did the, the show. I'm having. You did the song "Women Lie." Yes, I did. Oh, okay. All right, we really yeah, up been, on. Yeah, yeah. he's been out. He, yo, Mac yeah. has been out there. I've, I remember Mac. I remember him in videos and everything. Like the dude has been out there. Um, and it didn't. It didn't hit me until what we when you was just talking. Um. I just, you know, I feel for you, fam, because, you know, you going through something that nobody can really take the weight off of you for, you know what I mean? And it's something that, you know, as men, we sometimes we go through some things that we don't talk to other people. We don't, we bottle that sh- in and we just deal with it however it's going to be dealt, you know? And whatever happens at that point is how it's going to come. So, you know, a lot of people like, oh, cross that bridge when you get there. But when you get to the bridge, you're damn near ready to knock the bridge down. Um Right. I I definitely pray for you know new beginners for you, homie. Because I'm not I'm not into seeing nobody go through something like that. This hardship is crazy, you know. And yeah, your your personal hardship does sound pretty. Uh, it, it it's it's pretty intense. I understand the whole going through divorce with y'all, thing. Man. Yeah, I mean it's I'm it's hard. Could I say something? I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, bro. I don't yeah, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. That's what you called up before. I don't want. This shit, man. My label is dropping me right now, bro. I'm signed to Warner Music Group. I'm getting dropped. Ooh. I'm signed to Warner. Uh, listen, listen. I- I'm signed to Warner Music Group, and I was signed to Rage at the same time. So my money going all types of ways. I don't even know where it's yeah. going. I'm receiving checks for ten thousand dollars and shit. I don't even know where shit is going. So let me tell you this. My label is dropping me right now because of these R. Kelly allegations, man. Because my Just name being linked to it. It's being linked to it, man. I just don't know what to do. My wife is leaving me because I'm siding with R. Kelly. My wife, the the, the day, the day, the day I decided, I said, I'm rocking with Kells. Right. Instead of saying, I'm rocking with Andre and I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm a be with this R, new R. Kelly movement and get on these talk shows and, and speak. I've been Stand offered a hundred thousand dollars. I've, I'm a t- I've been offered a hundred thousand dollars to have a sit down. get on it and speak bad about this man now i'm gonna tell y'all this and i can't say who that's from True. sadly you know what i mean uh, of 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 illegal reasons that could also get me in trouble you know what i mean so mm-hmm. if y'all could have mm-hmm. my back that we mm-hmm. just, I'll just be honest with you you know what i mean but it mean it's it's something close to a to a entertainment tonight if y'all if y'all know what i'm trying to get at shout I out hear entertainment tonight. i hear exactly what you're I talking feel. about you talk you, you know talking about mean? the people so, that's always in somebody's uh, business Yes. Yeah, I got you. Mm-hmm. Yes, they're always talking about celebrity. You know who I'm talking about, I know y'all, exactly man. What talking about a hundred thousand dollars, man. And um, I told them no, and they said we're going to destroy your career, piece by piece, bit by bit. They told me all this to my face, and I'm just looking at them like, wow, these people really want to destroy me now, just for having somebody back. Next thing I know, I get a call from Warner Music. You're getting dropped next month. Damn, I know a guy from uh, America's Got Talent mm. who was mm-hmm. who was immediately kicked off because he didn't want to do something they asked him to do. So I, I understand that there is a control that is done. In, oh in, yeah, in, that machine in, is heavy up there. Yeah, so you know, but I feel you. Even with this show, we stand our ground 
in, in reference to music and things like that and be real to the people and things like that. Even with things like, what's a good example? Soul Train. Mm-hmm. They wanted it black. Mm-hmm. They wanted to keep it black. The white man wanted to buy that because they saw what was going on. They saw a different direction mm-hmm. and they wanted to buy that. They stood their ground. Mm-hmm. So sometimes in most situations, you got to stand your ground. You got to pray about it. You got to let God. How, how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I mm-hmm. even go on to it? How can I make money? Right. How can I, how can I go on shows? If they stop How it. can I even go to the studio without getting death threats? When my ex-wife mm-hmm. or my current wife is out here with R. Kelly's ex-wife destroying my name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. am I supposed to do, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I supposed yeah. to do? What am I supposed to do? Pray. One of music is dropping me. My rights are gone, man. Mm-hmm. My publishing mm-hmm. is gone, man. So yeah, it's but, gone, but you know, man. hey yo, it's not even. Don't tell me to calm down. down. Yeah. So look, let me let me ask you a question. No, I'm talking to my no, no, I know. Don't tell I, me I know, to calm down. We got you. We got you. So look, Mac. Let me ask no, you a we question. Gonna have a, no, we gonna have a not y'all. Sorry, I got you, we gonna I got have you. a real issue if you tell me to calm down again. I'm doing this goddamn, and I'm paying you to make me look good. I'm Oh. I don't give a fuck, bruh. I will fire you right now and drop you off in Compton. Not in Compton, Mac. Shout out to Compton. Hey, Mac. Mac. So let me ask you a Chris question, Mac. I want to see if you I get. You're going to have to get out of my car, though, for the, before we start this interview again. You're going to have to get out the car, bruh. Straight up, bruh. Yeah. You know, Shut your hey, ass hey, up. Hey, Hello? Mac. Yeah, Mac. Let me ask you yeah. a question, Mac. Yeah. On a positive. Niggas don't understand, man. I had these niggas walking again, man. On a po- on a niggas positive note, it, though. Let me, like, let, me, let, me, let me let me ask you a question, Mac. This calm down, nigga. I'm paying this nigga to make me look good. I'm the one with the five million. I what mean, you, you, got? you paying if you paying him, he got to he, he got to fall back, huh? Hey, look, listen. I got a question for you, Mac. Po- on a positive yeah, note. Yeah, man. What lane can these young boys take? From you, so that they won't head, well, they so they don't get caught up like this, man. Don't ever sign a deal. Don't ever sign a deal unless it's a distribution. Hmm. Don't ever, don't ever sign on the dotted line. That's all I got to tell you. Don't hmm. ever sign on the dotted line. You don't want to do it. So it's, I think it's time for everybody to take their own career in their own hands and uh, it's pretty much go everybody. independent. In- Instagram, Instagram, your career is up and things like that. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I, I, in my contract, I had to get knockout tatted. So I got knockout tatted. Mm-hmm. It's that serious, dude. I'm uh-huh. brandy right now, dude. I'm signed to Ray J for life. Well, you know, Gru- Groupon, Groupon has a uh, a $40 deal where you can get uh, two square inches taken off. I had to do that with my wedding oh, ring. Up. I'm just, I'm, you know, if you uh-huh. want me to shoot you the... Uh, N- so look, hey, Mac. Um, what I do want to say to you, man... Is that with all that you're going through, bro? You still here, you know? You still here? I'm still here, right? And, and I've been assassinated. Yeah, I've been assassinated. Yeah, but well, I'm still alive. Right. Well, I just I need you. I need you to you know hold your head up, keep that, keep it strong. You know what I mean? You there's a fight going on. You gotta fight. You gotta get in that battle, bro. You know. And, and I, you know what? Shout out to my wife. Shout out to my wife, real quick. Shout out to my wife, even though you know. I said all this and that. Fuck it. I got to say what I got to say. And I got to speak out. You know, shout out to my wife. Um, shout out hey. to uh, Andrea Kelly. Uh, Hold you know, on. Real talk, man. Shout out to Andrea Kelly. Um, mm-hmm. Now, on the uh, on the flip side, we got the real Swanky P hitting me up on uh, Instagram right now. Yes, sir. They... What, what you mean? He on here right now. I got the uh, real shorty, shorty Mac. What you, wait? What you mean? You got the real shorty Mac? That's not Mac on the phone with us. Nah, he right here. So who's this? This who, wait, hold on. How you how 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 you saying this? Not the real. I'm kind of confused here, fam. I got him right here on. Uh, he's in his room. He's trying to talk to me right now. Can we? Is it a way we can get him on? Hold on. Well, hey Mac, on hold on. Insta- he's on my Instagram right now. Gucci, he's, he's saying somebody got Gucci and everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, hey Mac, whoever on the phone right now, hey Mac, who, yeah, he dropped off. Yeah, he dropped off. Is is it a reason why? Well, maybe that's him right there that dropped off and he got into Instagram. Then no, I, I 
Yeah, he said he's fake. He just told me that he was fake. What? Hey, ho- hold on. Hey, Mac, hold on. Hold on, Mac. Let's let's get let's. Is there any way that we could get him in here? Hey, yo, Mac. We want to uh get you on the show. So, is there a way you can text me your information? We get you in. on the show real quick. All right, hold on one second. Let me. I got you, crazy. Bro. Yo. DLE Radio, you already know what it is. Quite a one big deal. C dub the entertainer. It's us, it's we, it's DLE. We're gonna try to figure something out real quick and we're gonna get him on the phone so we can get the real up, Shorty Mac in here, you dig? So we're gonna get into the song and the maze all I want. You heard? We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. We got this. Alright? Apparently we had a fake. I don't know. Let's see. Oh man. Hey yo. Pizza bites or hot pockets, man? Come on. Boy, what the fuck is you burning tonight? Oh, I got the sofrito. Mira, papi, I got the sofrito. Love to 
underestimate the cute face that you know. I'm mama not to reincarnate it, check my soul. I'm known for slaying situations all up on my toes. You girl is cold. I don't with the likes of carbon copy cut Ain't no build a bitch here, ain't no room for the loud. And watch the gas you spit out. Where I put my flame in your mouth. From the tip of my Smith the West and Carolina. Oh, it's not gonna work with that kind of transaction completed. Live CNT. If you knew how hard it is to live without. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is, man. We pack yo, um, bonkers. <laughs> bonkers is all I can say. All right. Uh, apparently, somehow, there was a fake on the phone with us. All right. He, he made it seem like he was calling and representing and everything And now what we're dealing with now is uh, We have the real swing We got the real shorty Mac that's trying to call him We're trying to connect with him and get this thing going So uh, it's going to take us a little second I know, But until we get that situated You got swank over there bro? Uh, no he ain't picked back up Alright so that's a bet We're going to wait until you come back uh, What I do want to get into is something funny Since we just had a funny moment man Cause that was that was crazy. Uh, a funny thing that I've caught on to is uh, Gucci was doing a sign in a book sign or something. I don't know what he was in the store for, but um, while he was in the store, you know, Peter walked up to him. But how they did it was one of the dudes walked up to him. It was like word on the streets, you going vegan, right? So Gucci like, yeah, all right. he gives him a uh, uh, what's up, cousin? I see you out there. Gucci basically give him a handshake and everything, you know, like yeah, what up, you know. Then he go, but you can't go vegan. Wearing fur And Gucci look at the dude like Yo what the hell But it's like they start rushing Gucci right So then all of a sudden they push him off But I think it's kind of crazy Like they don't understand Like some people you can't just be, Just run up on them like that man, to, man I, Cause honestly Right there you kind of you, you, You're trying to get your Your face slapped off I, I don't know I don't understand why would you do that mm-hmm. <laughs> cra- Yo nothing Not yet Yo it's, it's- it's loading all right let it load let it load all i'm right. trying to keep y'all entertained and i will do that so we're gonna talk about this jesse select thing smollett i call right. him select <laughs> they trying to get his boy 64 years yeah i heard that 64, 64 years. years for for t- 
telling a fraudulent story. Now, who y'all know getting locked up for 64 years? For staging a fake hit. Come on, bro. For a fake hit. It's it's people on, doing man. longer. 64. It's people out here doing rape charges. Like R. Kelly. Uh, <laughs> who stands to go in jail for 30. Uh, what is it? 30. Uh, 30, 38 th- years. Yeah, I think so. If convicted. Jesse Smollett just lied. That's all he did. Bruh, he pretty much just lied. I think that's the most insane ish I've heard, bro. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, I don't know what's going on with Swank. The real, I guess the real Swank, we apparently. <laughs> yeah. If y'all don't know what just took we got, place. Yeah, we got hit up by the real uh, Shorty, Shorty Mac. Right. He hit us up for real, for real. After the fake one called well, in and well, hold in on. his let's, place, let's ch- let's chime him in on what happened before that. So listen, this is what took place, all right? Because C Dub over here being a little modest here. Mm. So basically, <laughs> last night or sometime yesterday, C Dub put put up a post about R. Kelly being funny or you know whatever, doing everything what everybody else doing. And what yeah. took place? Funniest is, post in the world. Yeah. Alive. So <laughs> so basically. Sh- Swanky, Shorty Mac, aka Shorty Mac, which I do remember from back in the day. Um, he had uh, basically uh, called, reached out to C Dub and was like, you know, yada yada yada, whatever. And C Dub and him had a little convo and they was going to talk about it, you know. And C Dub said, you know, why don't you come on the show? You know, won't mm-hmm. you just call in and we could talk about this? And uh, what ended up happening was. Um, <clears throat> he called in. We thought it was him that called in, but this whole time we've been talking to somebody else. I, apparently, is that how it went? Yeah, like we was talking to somebody else because then we we get in the in the live. We on IG live, and somebody and, and the real guy. I'm seeing. I was seeing him speaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at like, him speaking too. Like that ain't me, bro. And I'm like, wait a minute. Did we just get duped? Yeah, I, that was kind of crazy. I don't know what. I'm, that wait, was I'm waiting on him right now on Facebook Live. Maybe we can try the number again. Maybe if he oh, can uh, try to try try to try the number again. No, I just hear a back something something else playing. Yeah, yeah. So while we do this, I we just, we just, everything just got kind of crazy. We didn't expect this to happen. I it's actually seven fifteen. We went past seven o'clock, fam. Yeah, we spent the whole hour talking to. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh, we trying to hit you up on another line, bro. I I, I see you on here. It's it's loading though. Yeah, we got him on our on Facebook Live, but uh, you got him on Facebook loading. Live. Or I Instagram mean Instagram Live. live right. my fault. So and it's kind of loading. So it's I don't know what's going on. You think he's picking up right now? Hey man, so you know. Oh wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on one second. We can set so it up on here. We, okay, so we're gonna talk through the Instagram Live. Um, and just try to talk to the real Swank, to the real AKA Shorty Mac, all right? Because this is this is a little out of hand. So, uh, what what you do that for, bro? All right, here so, we go. all right, we should be there now, right? Is that a hey, Shorty Mac? You there? It's loading. Oh, it's loading load. again. Ah, uh, see, that's gonna be the problem. Too many, you know, too much of that. Yo, yo, yo. Nine. All right, so you know. One thing I do want to talk about is being your worst enemy, your own worst enemy. All right, There's so many ways that we end up being our own worst enemy. Do you got him? Yeah, he's in here. It's just kind of loading. It's a uh, probably bad service area. I don't know. Yeah. He was talking about the, the sprint earlier. Yeah, sprint's been terrible, bro. Man, sprint's horrible. Terrible. I, don't it's, know. I think it's this whole buyout that T-Mobile did. Anybody, any one of y'all that's listening to us, um, Sprint recently. Uh, was brought out by T-Mobile and what the, their claims are the reason why they're having so many bad uh, reception problems uh, is that yo, yo, they're yo. taking over some of the, t- the, the cell towers now, I think it's BS because it's re- I mean like it's irking my nerves I'd have been up to the damn Sprint store twice and I might get up there today hey, we even got the real well. swanky mom in here too hey how's it going mama we trying to, we trying to get some audio to it uh Trying to figure out what's going on. Ask, here. ask if if she's in the same place. Maybe we can call him. You know, some way somehow we can reach out on the phone. That's the best way. So yeah. we can, you know, he could clear the air on this one because that was crazy. Yeah, we need to clear the air a little bit on this. That one. was crazy, fam. Um, you say you can't hear us. 
He said he can't hear us. You got to turn the volume up. Oh, he can hear us. Can can you hear us? No. Nah, he can't. He can't hear nothing we saying. All right. All right, we'll figure this out, yo. But while we doing that, you know, I feel like I feel like uh, let's get into a song real quick. Let's get into a song, and then we'll we'll sort this out, and then we'll come back. You know, I think that makes perfect sense. Work. Um. Oh, we got Naki. Yeah, let's rock that Naki real quick. Um. I got him. Jersey representative. All right, Jersey City stand up, Newark stand up, East Orange, EO, what up? Yeah. Yo. <clears throat> Geocation. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I swear I do this for my mom. I swear. I swear my king's about that drum. But we rather green like the lump. Cause you don't want to with that lump. We really started from the bottom. I can't wait to say I gotta say I got All I got is a dream in the dark And we don't fuck with hot soda nah, 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 nah. We get this money getting paid I bet they want us in the grave yeah. They hate the brakes and hit the chain Cause we ain't wear like a slave yeah. It's poppin' queen, you riding now? Can't the scoop to take you out the house Hey baby, She taking pictures like I'm stepping out She glowing up, she got that wave Wow I can't wait to say I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Hip hop is dead, they say that the soul is missing. Downloaded to a game, became all about the digits. So must I complete this mission and control it from a stage? The core to the system is a noose that was once on a slave. Been played for too long, then cut us off when we hot. Love us on beat, but wouldn't mind to see us in the box. Trap souls in prison, you get time for a sentence. Free through these bars to jealous non existent. The fridge present, but the food got evicted. Three stripes and you black. What's left is pray for forgiveness. Five fingers for statements. The other ones make you racist. Now it's time to create, to show them you can make it. Now I realize I'm sick, and all it took was patience. My lids are up, but my eyes needed awaken. Talk is cheap, actions I should have paid with. Went from good to bad, back to good, last is greatness. I can't wait to say I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. I can't wait to say I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Hold up, I think I got him. Excuse me, let me introduce myself. My name is G Money. But there is something about you, something about you. You remind me. La la la. You are the only one me at the corner. Will you are wine, me say, oh nana. I could take it from the floor, come in a cater. And not you don't fell on me, I get a generator. If you to the bedroom, elevator. And if you run out of breath, you see better lines. Your hand up, pepper grinder. Sing on the gun, let's mic a cappella. Let me hear every melody in your voice. Every harmony play with me, bandana. So come on, do a wine for me. Mm-hmm. So come on, do a wine for me. Mm-hmm. Wind up your body like roller coaster. Me and your last, you give me a one night. If I know you, I your twin sister. If I know you, I your twin sister. You remind me of this girl. Mr. 
Jamaica. She said, I want to give you back your groove like Stella, me and the man, baby. The floor got me no kilter Energy done well on me and your generator Lift you to the bedroom elevator And if you run out of breath You see breath lines Use up your hand like pepper grinder Sing from the gun, let's smite a cappella When me hear every melody in your voice Every harmony play with me one dollar So come on, do a wine for me mm-hmm. So come on, do a wine for me mm-hmm. Wind up your body like roller coaster Me thank your last year, give me a one night if I know you, are your twin sister? If I know you, are your twin sister? You remind me of this girl. Like, 
is us is we is <laughs> dle <laughs> is the uh we just had jesse Sm- are we live we, we just had a jesse smollett issue <laughs> yeah we just had a jesse smollett call in on behalf of r kelly oh man my you, wife if you think friend. i ain't muting r kelly now nah, i'm, hey, I'm muting him now. yo <laughs> shout out shout <laughs> that was the wildest is that that's that's our guy right there oh my god yeah we got him in all right, y'all, y'all stay tuned, man. We getting ready to talk to uh, the real Shorty Mac, man. If possible, you know, we trying to get this whole thing together. Hey, Mac, can we hear you? I mean, can you hear us? Something going on back here. So <laughs> while we do that, let me let me kind of brief y'all on what, what took place. <clears throat> um, basically, Craig uh, made a post about R. Kelly. Um some guy, this this swanky guy, uh, Shorty Mac. Uh, what we thought was um, the real person that was calling us about the situation, um, you know, had something that he wanted to get off his chest. So we talking to him and everything, and he's going, he talking crazy. Y'all can hear it later on once this show is done. Um, <clears throat> so what took place after that is we talking. I see him talking. Like, while we on the phone with him, we could see Swanky, the real Shorty Mac, inside Instagram Live. And he's like, Yeah. Oh, that um, ain't me. That ain't me. That, that uh, this the real Swanky right here. I'm yo, it's was bugging man, we me. We just out had the a story. Swanky we just had Swanky Gate happen uh just a second ago. <laughs> Pretty much a whole Swanky Gate. Hey, he he trying to get in and call and everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he trying to get in. Here we go. Hold on, let's see what's going on. So Oh, at, at some point we'll get this thing straightened out. This is not planned out. All right, we kind of just the only thing we planned was the first half of the show. We wasn't even supposed to be up here this late. Like our show's supposed to be done already. Yo, seven thirty. But I, I honestly like the fact that <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that it did happen. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like that the fact that it did happen. Oh uh, man. Oh man. But Clutch the, the, man T. That's my homeboy. But. How serious he was, man. Yo, my man was serious. Man he went said, off on tangents, my, everything. Bro, the dude said, my wife left me. I got, what, where did he come from with the, the limousine? I don't know where that came from. He said the Bentley. He had the Bentley out there for and everything. Yo, like he said, I got five mil. I'm about to lose half of that, and I owe somebody. Oh I was like, how you going to pay for this lawyer when all your money gone? Oh, my gosh. Lexi, what's <laughs> going on, man? Yo, that this was old. D, you know what I mean? If I've never, <laughs> well, I've never. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can get this thing cleared up. You know, uh, I know a lot of people is watching the DLE live right now. Um, I, I my page don't be having nothing popping. I got some of my peoples in here. I think I got like two live viewers. But we got uh, the Facebook um, stream going on too. Um, and I'm hoping that everybody just you know kind of bear with us. We're trying to make this thing happen. All right. All right, sis, what up? I see you over there. I can see y'all talking and everything, so I, I appreciate everybody swinging through and trying to hold it down for us. You know what? I'm going I'm to work on getting the real Swanky P. I ain't even going to promote it. When, when he come on, he come on. Yeah. <laughs> Just so he can uh, have his what? Yeah. Hey, what's so, up, Swank? I, I see you on there. He talking through. He going to, I guess he can talk vicariously through me until we get this whole situation taken care of. But, uh, yeah, it's it's. His connection is bad. Yes, yeah, his connection. Nah. I think it's the connection. We see you though, but play one. But uh, so yeah. So first off, we want to apologize to our fans and uh, our listeners, and to, and our <clears throat> listeners, and to Swanky. Yeah, uh, personally, we sure enough thought we had the right guy on this damn show just now. But oh man, I went through the whole spiel. Like I was like, let me talk to your people. They had people calling. Oh man, they went out the way. Yeah. They went full. They went full throttle with this. <laughs> full throttle with the with the swanky gate. You feel yeah. me? It's just crazy. What I'm laughing at is it's crazy that my like a dude basically called in and made up this whole thing, elaborate bro. thing just just so I don't know. Like he wanted some camera time. He was on here crying. He was talking about his his girl. 
you bro, know, I was, said, I was about to start feeling him. Like, you know, man. I, I felt sorry voice. for him, bro. The like, voice is bad, man. See, man. <laughs> It didn't. It didn't look the real. Sw- the real shorty Matt get on Instagram and he's showing us Gucci shoes and everything, man. So I just hope. Yeah, that, he um, on here right now. I got. I got. I'm <clears throat> Facetiming right now. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, we can't do the audio to to get him in. But you know, you know, shout outs to to shorty Matt. You know what I'm saying? Are we having the problem with Swanky's lifestyle? Oh, yeah. You know, go see him at Swanky. It's the lifestyle. Uh, that's 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 probably why when I asked. What are you doing with your situation? He didn't really have anything to say. He went right back to the R. Kelly stuff. Yeah. Or whatever. You know? Well, look, man, I, I just hope that at one point we get this all squared away. Yeah, the other guy was, excited. the other dude was fake as hell. Oh, yeah, Swanky left. Um, yeah, the fake Shorty Mac had nothing to say. Nah. AKA so, Jesse Smollett. <clears throat> we got Smollett. We got Smollett it. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, all right. So. <laughs> Oh man That's the thing now I just came up with a new thing I just came up with a new thing In my generation We got Smollett it Alright so <laughs> uh, So here's the thing right We really only do we got an Trump. hour show We got an hour show And we went clearly over our hour show But it was very entertaining You can't lie and say it wasn't hey, yo, Cause everybody that was listening say. If you, Even if you listened to the show after the, You know we finished the live broadcast Yo Y'all are go Yo No no, the, you 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 stupid. Because when, when you was like you was like yeah you know I go to Groupon for it or something like that. I'm like nah this dude is for real. Like you really go do it. You hey know. look that's what you get. Don't call me in the middle of the night and think I ain't got a couple jokes for you. I was to be honest when I'm on radio I try to be as conservative as possible. But really I can go there and, and you know what I've been sitting here thinking of since last night like. I should go in on this food, but then he got the crown. Like my wife left me. Oh, I'm like, oh man. man, I feel you, bro. I'm, I'm so sorry. You should. I really thought you shouldn't be taking that. I'm like, why are you taking R. Kelly's side anyway? You know, what? come on now. It's it's relationships broken up right now today because of Donald Trump. Because people can't make up their minds, and I, and that's being real serious. I'm, I'm. It's it's people <clears> can <throat> go left or right so hard that it can break up relationships. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, he's about to lose his his woman off, over man. R. Kelly. I'm like, man. Yeah, the man, you know, man said he lost his record deal. <laughs> he lost everything. And the man. real Swanky P coming up here with Gucci. Now, first off, we need to talk. Hey, Swank, we, yeah, when you we gotta get, get up off that Gucci, man. Swank. When we when we get you on the show, man, we are gonna have to talk. What well, talk you, to you about the some Gucci. people actually feel like mm-hmm. you know um, they don't want to run with the. And I, I'm I'm one that do not like to run behind everybody else when it comes to Jordans. Right? I got right. I got my own my certain pair that I'm gonna buy. I don't care what you got. Or how how hot it is, I'm gonna buy these Jordans because I need them. I didn't get them when I was younger. So, you know, some people actually feel like when it comes to this whole, you know, clothing thing that, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, uh, you know, follow behind everybody else and just buy. If you know damn well your ass ain't no damn Gucci wearer, Fendi wearer, or you ain't got the money for it, stop spending taking your dumb, stupid. You know what I'm talking about. Out Invest there trying your money. To buy, trying matter of fact, to matter of fact, you can buy whatever it is you want. But I, I'm, I'm here to tell you this: when you get your refund tax, uh, your refund check, because I know everybody expecting that refund. No, Invest it, man. Invest it. Mm-hmm. Invest it in yourself. I guarantee you can make some money. Oh, so just so we can fall, we can get this whole situation done. Everybody know R. Kelly just got released from jail um, off of that uh, 161 uh, hundred thousand. Bell out for the uh child support. I guess uh, that was I think, I think, I think we, we done that, with right? R. Kelly today. I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you you're a little frustrated. You I mean you're a little we far beyond that, Jesse. huh? Yeah, I'm, well, let's, look, look, I'm so let's, far. Let's past. not even do the Jesse. Let's uh, not do the Jesse. Let's, let's talk about the Let's, the, let's the, do a the little bit of news. We're gonna get get into a little high five. Look, look, we'll be going work. She almost died. Mm. Uh sixty three. Mm-hmm. Shout out to her. She made it through. She had pneumonia in both her uh yeah, pray for her old girl. Yeah, she had pneumonia in and both her kidneys. So shout mm-hmm. out to her in the view. She says she can't. She wishes she uh, can get back as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you hear about the disturbing video capturing in Colorado? The cops uh, oh, pointing man, guns at hot. the black man yeah, picking up trash in yeah. front of his own house. Yeah, that was crazy. Like yeah, old boy eight, just eight cops. Yeah, pull there. up to his crib. He and, uh, t- he out there taking, uh, picking up garbage, right? Yeah, he was just picking up garbage. Eight cops for a man picking up garbage in their own home. And you think 
for show that they ain't targeting. Yeah, you know what it is, man. You can't even pick up garbage in your own home, man. It's ridiculous. Hey, yo, um, it, it's one thing I wanted to do for the show before I get totally into the news. I want to. I do. I want to do a uh, give me five. Give me five. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do Can it. I, all right. I. Let's do it. Let's do the give me five thing. Let's man. let's do give me five because we right. want to get on a high note. So we're right gonna now. start. Let's start getting the, the the people, the audience involved. You know, let's get some of the you know the listeners, the watchers, uh, to join in with us and everything. Uh, I do. Do we got a caller? Yeah, we got a caller. All right, cool. Let's get her on. Him or her? What, what is it? Yeah, it's her. Hello. 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 Hi. Hey, how's hey, it okay. going? This is unique. Good. Huh? Yeah. Hi. Mm. How are you? I'm How pretty good. How you doing, pretty girl? Good. I heard it was just your birthday. Happy Uh-oh, birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah. How old are you? 22. 22. Deuce, deuce in yeah. the building. <laughs> well, we going to play. F- well, we going to play five, five, five. 55. Yeah. We going to play a game called Give Me Five. Triple five. Well, you got to give me five correct okay. answers, and you can't give me a uh. Uh-uh. You know what I mean? So if yes, I say I know give me, what you mean. so if I say give me five fruits, you can't say apple, banana, uh. If you say <laughs> uh, then you're out. Dundell, ma. Okay. All right. So you ready to play? I'm ready. All right. Well, give us one second. You also have ten seconds to answer these questions as well. You got to give us five correct answers within ten seconds. Well, no um, got no um, no right. um. Any arms you catch a L, yo? That's it, ma. So are you nervous? <laughs> that's it. You get no. Me. I'm good. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. All right. All right. Good. So what? What question before we get get started in the game? Uh-huh. What, so your actual birthday is March eighth. Yep. All right. And and I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Matter of fact, let's put it out there. This is my little sister, y'all. We <laughs> about thirteen years apart. <laughs> This little baby girl. <laughs> oh. I was there when she said yeah. her first words. Oh. Lights. I was there when she did her first walks. Okay. Well, happy birthday, little C Dub Junior C Dub. <laughs> yeah, that's my Thank baby girl. You. This is my baby. I, you know, I had to get her for the for the pick five. Next week we are gonna do uh, live callers. Live callers next week. Call in yeah. and uh, you can call in. I'm do a give me five. We gonna have prizes and games and things like Man. that for you. So we want to make it as interactive as possible. So um, now we ready. Ready to get this game on the road? All right. All right. Yep. So you're 22, so you may know some of these answers. All right. I need you to give me five. Give me five. Martin Lawrence oh, you better movies. Get these. No sequels. You better get these. Martin Lawrence Ten, mo- nine, Go. eight, seven, six, College road five, trip. four. Three, two, one. Oh. Uh, she oh. almost went with the uh. I almost heard the uh. I was going to let her get away with it, but she only got college <laughs> road trip. Come on now. Yeah. Like, come on now. You hey, ain't man, heard bad you, boys. What, what you been watching? Big Mama what, House. What did y'all, what did y'all watch in the house? You know, we about 13 years apart. So I, don't uh, know, like, I was know. I was a teenager when she was, you know, I watched it. Uh, while she was watching Teletubbies, I was. Okay, I got you. I you know, I had you. to watch a lot of well, Teletubbies. Well, look, 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 make it a little easier for her. All right, we're going to make it a little bit more easier for you. Are you ready for the uh, next question? Okay. We go three rounds. Yes. Yeah. All right. I want okay. you to give me five. Just five. Just five. five. Gotcha. Salads. Ooh. Ready, set, salad. go. Caesar salad. Nine, eight, vegetarian seven, salad. Six, chicken five, salad. Four, potato three, salad. Okay. And broccoli salad. One. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's how you play the game. Okay. No uns. I was I was looking for the uns, but we got every last one. That was good right there. All right, now go harder. Okay. <laughs> Go harder. I need you to okay. give me five. You know what? I should have did the Martin Lawrence was probably the hardest one I got. I got one that's kind of semi-hard. Mm. Here we go. I need you to give me five. Five Sesame Street characters. And I did say Sesame Street characters. Ready? Set. Okay. Go. Ten. Zoe. Eight, Abby Kadabby. Seven. Elmo. Six, 
Burton Ernie. Ah, <laughs> yo, that go. was the easiest one right that there. Was the easy, that was Burton the easiest Ernie. one. Burton Ernie. Uh, yeah, everybody out. already go for Burton. Yeah, yeah, that was. I mean, that's a pastime for everybody. Everybody got to have that yeah, one. Yeah, true indeed. <laughs> yeah, that was a good job. You got yeah. two of the five out of three. Good job. I, I good appreciate job. that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, happy Thank birthday you. again, little sis. All right, out. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, All right, my mom. Uh, we, I love you, baby girl. I love you too, Craig. Bye. Oh, oh, oh thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to get back into some news. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit of news. Mm-hmm. Uh, exclusive. In the budget for the United States, Donald Trump is asking the Congressional uh, Congress mm-hmm. for $8.6 billion, with a B mm-hmm. for the border wall. Mm-hmm. That's what he's asking for. So that's a lot of tax money. I don't, I don't know who's supposed to be paying for that. I thought ain't Mexico supposed to be paying for this, but that's apparently, apparently not. We got to pay for this border wall, and we got to pay for the upkeep, and we got to pay for the people who actually has to patrol right. it. That's a lot of money coming out. But he assumes that the wall will pay for itself. Still making those claims. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, on other news, Nicki Minaj. Yeah, man. France. Crazy. She had a French show. That can't go on. Angry mm. friends are chatting Cardi B at this moment because she had to cancel some shows. Uh, the beef for Cardi and Nicki continues. Listen, but while you on Nicki Minaj, we can go into a little bit of uh, Young Money, right? Mm. I feel like since she was there, I just wanted to stab, throw this in Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so look. Sick way. Huge news, right? If everybody know, um, like I do, if you're into hip-hop, you know that there's always been an issue between Tory Lanez and Drake. Right. Yes. Well, the dope thing is, Drake and Tory Lanez announcing an opening um, for uh, upcoming tour that they're gonna do, and uh, Tory Lanez will be opening up for Drake. And that's not, you know, that it, they, they've been having this little feud for a while, and they just kind of chill. I think, it, I think it's Drake, really. I think Drake really sat back and was like, "Let me just go ahead and, you know, uplift these other Toronto ar- artists," uh, which is dope. I think that's dope. They need to do that, but Tory's still not the best. MC out there Just want to let that be You know I wanted to slide that in there Alright <clears throat> In some other news uh, R.P. for Frida Foreman uh, yeah. The daughter of George Foreman She yeah. died at the age of 42 mm-hmm. Family member discovered her body um, They're still waiting on Corner's report for the results She is one of 10 children of George Foreman That's Gone at 42 man. How old was Michael when he left? I Wasn't think, he like fifty two? I think he was in his fifties. Yeah, man. It's, I mean, it's too. It's getting younger and younger. I don't, they they still waiting on the quarters report. I I really want to know what what happened to her because that's a that's a sad thing, you know, mm-hmm. to lose a loved one. You know, shout out to George Foreman, mm-hmm. uh, household name ever since that grill, since the rubble in the jungle. You know. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I want to do is, uh, oh, what we got going on here. It looked like uh, the homie trying to call back in. Is that Swank? Is that Swank trying to reach us? Oh, okay, cool. I think Swank trying to reach us, man. Uh, we're gonna try to see what we can do here to. Uh, bring All right, we're about to bring Swank quick. back in real and quick. Then, give his side of the story. See where he yeah. stands on everything. We're gonna give you the real Swank today. Yo, real quick. We're gonna Kelly learn today. Being investigated in Detroit for sexual assault. Thirteen Hello? year old and giving her. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we here. Swank. Swank. Shorty Mac. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We got you over here. I just heard. I just heard him in here. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, Mac, Mac. Hold on, hold on. No, don't, don't cuss too much, Brody. We can't blank it all out. It's goody. I feel I'm in the fact that in the fact that I told y'all I said that's not me. I told y'all I said that ain't me. Mm. So y'all even did the thing and I was like, I don't know what interview y'all talking about. So mm. from there on, when I said that, I would I would have, you know, common sense says, Well, whoever I'm talking to obviously ain't the right person. So when I come in and just check and see was actually hear somebody on the radio station, I'm thinking, I'm just wondering from y'all behalf, like who so so let me let me ask you a question did anybody respond to that when you when you when you said um who it was did anybody respond that it wasn't me once you said it wasn't me Information about if you want to get on the show with 
And then I sent y'all my number. Wow, that's... Oh, wow, we didn't even do all that. Yeah, we didn't do all that. I gave him him the phone number before the show even took place. Wow, so look, so look, you was getting... You still had this guy pretending to be shorty back. So, you know, and I just went on... And I will have even told him that I had a recorded interview really already from y'all. When I check on, I see you guys actually talking to whoever it is in a, this is a full new interview. Bro, full blown. You know, full blown. And dude was talking crazy. Here's, here's my thing. So just 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 to apologize. Well, honestly, I'm not going to apologize because so, we didn't know. We don't know what was said between I mean, listen, listen, you and whoever that reality, responded to brother, you. Brother, 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 our brother, our brother, brother, brother on the reality. True, true. Come on, you talk guys, to me. Guys, you guys put some on somebody on your platform that was mm-hmm. pretending to be me, slandering me, acting like he knows me. Yeah. And you guys are, you know, you, you at this point, you should. Oh yeah, I well, I I, I, I do, I, me personally, I do feel like we do. Brother, 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 amen, brother. I'm just, I'm coming just as brother to brother on the reality, you know. Right. I, I, and I made ways to contact you guys before the slandering even took place. And by the grace of God, like I was telling you guys, I just checked in to see what, what, you know. This was like my phone has been so messed up. I just don't want to go down the sprint because it takes all day. Mm-hmm. So. Well, we we appreciate that, fam. It's it's. Well, what I what I mean by this, this is what I mean by this, and I know you, I know you're trying to get your point across, and, I, and we got it, we got it. You know, we had somebody randomly just that's basically crazy, say, man. yeah, yeah, that's not cool, that's not cool. But what what I do also want to say to you is, it's also it's not our fault because whoever called in, I don't know how they got that information. I don't yeah. even know who was speaking back and forth about whatever. All right, well. But we do, we do. A, look, look. I, I'm a this quite one big deal. I know how to apologize and say, you know, I bad for letting some random dude get on there. But at the same time, who who was you? Who who was you? So, but so, yeah. no, this cool. I ain't got no problem saying that. I just want to make sure you know that it's it's not it's not something that we did on purpose to make it. You know, we don't know who it was. Yeah, yeah. What I took it as, let me just tell you, see, I have an understanding. I never took it as trying to come and destroy shorty back because it's nothing even like that. Mm-hmm. I think right. it as So hit now, now here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. And when we talk about professionalism, whoever, which just like how whoever just did this whole thing and made it seem like he was you, somebody made it yeah. seem like it was us that was going back and forth with you. So oh, I don't. So you guys were oh, okay. So you guys were caught up in the loop too. Yeah, that's yeah, what we, I'm trying to yeah, explain we, to you. Yeah, we were so so it's not like it's so, not like we just was like, oh well, we just gonna interview I'm this guy. So yeah, we yeah we 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 got we got do. But first off, I I do want to apologize to you for the for the misunderstanding and the, and the mistake. You know, we'll do better on our half in the future to make sure that we are taking care of our half for for our uh for the artists and, and everybody alike because you know we can't have things like this happen. Yeah, that was um, whack. 
on yes. it was, was whack. But on the flip side, it was kind of funny. But at, but at the it, same time, I do apologize to you, sir. And we do want to. Um, I do want to extend the courtesy that if you ever want to come on the show or or anything, we, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got a lot of projects and stuff. I would love that, to collaborate. Hey, yo, so look, send, send us some music. We'll so, play your no, music. No, no. So look, no. This is what I want to talk about. So I asked this man. <laughs> I asked this man who was playing you. Uh, about himself, about music, and you know, I'm trying to get him off the subject of this R. Kelly thing, right? And he goes on. Yeah. Did you hear the whole? Did you hear this conversation at all? No. When I came in, I hear him talking about he had a K.O. tattoo and <laughs> he was signed for life or some other shit. I'm like, wait a minute, listen, this shit sounds hilarious. Nah, bro. You, <laughs> nah, bro. You had to. No, you had to hit. Yo, fam. This man said, "I lost my wife." I brought her. I know. I, I done went and got a Bentley. Oh my god! Oh man! Well, look. This 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 what I want to do, right? Because since we had a fraudulent dude get on this, um, well, you guys got the number of him, right? Because we need to send some lawyers on him and hey, him yeah, we yeah. we got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. What we'll yeah. do is uh, so so let me we'll shoot you some of them numbers. Let me ask you a question: Was that your that was that your page? That approach C Dub just because I want to get back to the original situation here. Just I, when, I, when I first saw you guys, I saw somebody saying I'm gonna have Shorty back on the show talk about R Kelly, and I was cried laughing like, "Who the fuck? I know, who did I?" Wow! Know? Wow! <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, Mac, man, look. So you look, you ain't got nothing to do. You don't, you ain't got nothing to say about this R. Kelly thing, right? No, you know what? I, I mean, I never had nothing to say about it, but I do have something to say about it once I once you guys were talking and brought it up on that thing. Well, let's I talk about, about it, man. We got you. We got you on. Let's talk about it, bro. Because <laughs> that's okay, crazy. Well, what I think, what I think about that R. Kelly situation, honestly, I think that on a reality term. If they're gonna start pulling up dirt on one person, just get everybody. Everybody. All all shade. Right. And that's my thing about it. I'm not gonna say I'm not the one to judge any man in this world. That's God's judge. That's that that's what he does. True. But I can say one thing. He knows what he did and he knows what he he has to you know, talk to the man when it's all said and done. But I don't I wouldn't do those things and that's what I would say in that in True. that life. I don't, that's not the way that <clears throat> I live my life and I wouldn't do those things. But I don't shame any man. But mm-hmm. I do shame people that try to shame only certain people. So if you're going to go get him, you need to get all these white people. All these uh, I got a whole lot of names, but I don't even feel like names. Oh, are like yeah, so we know. different nationalities. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, they're not just white. They're, they're all nationalities. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're all nationalities. You know, go get everybody. They're Asian. They're, they're, they're Hispanics. They're, uh, they're everybody. It's so priest. Go get getting on black people. Go get, go get everybody, and it's cool. Then I understand. You know that you know you know the objective is to knock us down. Coaches, you priests. know, well, it I mean, is to knock us down. No matter that, jurists, that, that, that's, that's what lawyers. They, that's, what, that's what they want you to think. But we're the kings. This is our land, so I don't care what they want us. I'm not here for what they want. I'm here with what I'm gonna do. Mm. It's not about that. You give people the opportunity and the leeway to hang for you to hang yourself. So mm-hmm. he had all opportunity in his life to move in different directions. That's why I said I'm not here to shame that brother. I'm just here to say that's not the way that I will move. But I don't oppose. I don't agree with just trying to attack one person and think right. that he's the big bad wolf when there's just a whole bunch of fleet of wolves chilling somewhere, right. up all kind of fucking shit. So Matt, so I'm sorry about that. Bro. No, no, no. <laughs> you good? You good? You good? I, I hear it. I hear it. And I, and I just, I just Yeah, that that was crazy. So that's what I wanted to talk about, right? Right. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the real. hey, the devil working. He worked hard, but guy got it. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh yeah. Yeah. So Matt, look. Let me let me let me ask you about you though. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so that, hey, Matt. Matt, give me a sec. Give me a second, real quick. I want to ask about you. I want you to. I want you to talk. I want to ask about you. What you got going on? What what projects you got going on? What what do you want the, our audience to look oh, for? Man, listen, I want my. I want 
the audience. I got. I have two records out right now. Mm-hmm. I have My Bay, or featuring LJ. We have over 41 million streams. I just won two awards. Okay. I won a stream award and an HMH uh, award. I was able to take my mom there. It was real big. Uh, and then I have another song right now called It's, it's a Vibe. I-Z-Z-I-S-S-A Vibe. Mm-hmm. It's a for God, like God vibe. Anyway, got you. doing great. Both of these songs are out on every platform. You know, you iTunes, Amazon, mm-hmm. Apple, every every type of platform, Spotify. So I would like for you guys to go get those as well. They're on your Instagram too, because now Instagram has Instagram music. Music, so yeah, you yeah definitely. Go to Instagram music, and you put Shorty Mac S H O R T Y space M A C K, then you will see you will see my music, and you'll be able to grab some stuff. I've been sure. doing a lot of great stuff. I've been I've been giving back, helping with Timberland. I've been doing a whole lot okay. of good stuff, you know, and everything's been positive. I've been doing a lot more singing than, than, than ever because, you know, I've been in life to hit the world with joyfulness because my life's been so good for me. I've been working out. I'm slow. I'm ripped. I'm, I'm drug-free. I'm anything. My weird, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I this, do, this is I will a... keep it real. I do That's... smoke marijuana. I am in the 420 <laughs> world. And if you do know me, I have a song with Snoop Dogg, Rest in Peace. Nate dog, right, right. Uh, RP Nate. Nate. That's a great. Trees, That's a great Coast. right there. Y'all can play that every day. That'll, that'll be cool because the legends are on that. Right. That's something you should just throw in your rotation. And sure, indeed. Yeah, we know my shorty Matt Bump that. You know hey, hey, that shorty. Place. I just, I just want this C Dub. I just want to let you know that this interview is so much better than Shorty Smollett that we just had a second ago. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <A> shorty <laughs> <laughs> this is so. This is so much better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey yo. That was, that was God, nah, that it was God, crazy. God, man. That's all I can say because, like I told you, if it was not for the way the alignments of everything played out, right? It was. It was. It was set up for me not to win because my phone is still to this. I still can't. Still call, can't get no in. in no, yeah. 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 Know, yeah. I, I was leaving from the gym working. Out at 24 hour fitness, I talked to my, my relative. I said, He doesn't even live over here. I said, Could you meet me over at my, my place? I'm out here in Chatsworth. He's way off by Malibu. He mm-hmm. came, and by the grace of God, by the time he made it here, this shambore was going on. I couldn't call you guys at all, and his phone came for us to even have this happen. Right, so that was this crazy. All in enlightenment, and this is this is real. This is nothing fake, and that's why the fake was shunned out. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? I'm 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 definitely glad that you somebody put you on to what's going on because golly boy when I tell you old boy was in here running his trap old boy was running his trap now look so so I now I now <clears throat> who I I believe is your Instagram that I've been studying where uh, I see you with uh, Snoop you got R J and I mean R J Ray J and everybody in there. Um, have you been writing for these dudes? Because from my understanding, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I wrote, I wrote a, a lot of songs. I wrote Shorty Got Gift, a few songs. Okay. Shorty what? Shorty Got Shorty Got Gift. Oh yeah, yeah. Houston and Ray called "It'll Be Okay." Right. You know, I've done a lot of I've done a lot of writing. I write all my own music. You know that that's really where you know I started off just writing because I had a record deal at twelve. Okay. At Thirteen, I actually came out. Yeah. That's how me and Ray met because I, yeah. I was already a signed artist mm. and he was signed, he was uh, going to get his deal go with the Atlantic. You know, they were prepping him for him to do his thing. Okay. But I was already coming out. I was probably one of the first rap, rap artists at that age to drop called Hard to Take at, at the JVC. It was okay. a Japanese label. They don't even, the Japanese people don't even invest in drugs no more. So I was one of the last of Mohican. And, and by that, I came with Jim Jam, Terry Lewis. I came with that type of, those people do all the legends. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, um, oh, oh, uh, uh, what's his name? Bo Dozier, Dozier, mm-hmm. Dozier, Hollis, Dozier, Pete mm-hmm. Farmers, you know, those type of people over there in the singing R&B world. And so me and Ray instantly kind of clicked. And my man, Young Buck, that's who, uh, L.A. Buck, my bad, L.A. Mm-hmm. Buck, mm-hmm. that he's the guy that actually knew Ray before because L.A. Buck was signed to Snoop Dogg. He had his own label. He had his, he was Snoop Dogg, he's got records. So it was all legendary type of stuff, but it was all family. Okay, that's got you. That's why when he was talking like that, it's like, what are you talking about? This, yeah, because, you know? yo, my man was like, my man yeah, was like, I got to drive for my about, label. It's not about I, signing anything. We're, 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 we're bloody definitely to this. Yeah, yeah, he was going on. I mean, I felt like I was going through another episode of Tyrese. 
Like, I mean, he was yeah, going on and on. Like, like he dropped me for my label. What you more know, do you want from me? No type of music means nothing. We're a family. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just something we happen to all know how to do. Mm-hmm. Like, don't nobody care. We're still going to be family without him. Everybody lost their vocals. Right. It don't even matter. That's why I just ch- chime in on that fool. Like, nigga, I mean, brother, whatever. I got you. Me. You sound stupid, bro. <laughs> <You> sound stupid. <laughs> hey, who that in the back, yo? Who that, your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> that boy live back there, boy. Tell him, tell him, tell him we said what up, man. Tell him DLE said what up, y'all. Word. What's, what's going on? Yeah, hey, you came through on the clutch for your cousin, yo. That's. <laughs> hey, yo, it's all good. Hey, sometimes we gotta clean it up a little bit. True. True. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, man, praise the Lord that we're here. We contract. We just send another joint up, but we can, you know, actually, I'll, I'll prepare and drop it because I'm going to be dropping the song called Best Week Ever. Word. So right before the, the song actually drops, we get a nice week to do an interview or something. Yeah, so yo, send, send. People up. I, I'll do, I, I got an EP that, that also the singles Best Week Ever and the EP is. So I'll play a few songs from it and okay. you know, let the people feel where I'm at right now, you know. Okay. You know, That's a bad. That's a bad. Yo. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I belong to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey yo, yo! Not to make no yo. Here's the crazy thing. Now that you say that, right? When he was he was in the club, I like big booties. I like <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, dude. I mean, I like don't don't be all. I mean, what's what's up, <laughs> bro? The nick yo, the dude was in here talking about like. Yo, you know, and I, I, I'm in trouble. Yo, he's a great actor, fam. Yo. Whoever that was, he was a great actor. Smollett, I, I Jesse Smollett. Thing. But, but the thing is that I didn't actor. even know that uh-huh. I made it Lying. to a, a level that someone would even want to be me, and, and like that's hey. that is the compliment that I give. Hey, that's what that's I was about to say. You know, <laughs> I was about to say that's yeah, a compliment, bro. Greatest form of flattery. You know, it's like, it's your, <laughs> well, what I, what I, what I want you, what I want to tell you, man, is one that we appreciate you come coming through for us. You know, um, we apologize that we couldn't get that connection a little bit better. Uh, and another thing oh, is, um, you know, we we definitely this <laughs> this has been a blooper night, man. And um, man, man, I hope this shit make it to one star. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? We gon we gon we gonna have to we gonna have it chopped up, you know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely make sure that um we highlight highlight the right information. Yeah, we'll highlight the right information too, fam, cuz that's crazy. And look, when we get a chance to cuz we on every Sunday 6 p.m. I want to find I want to make sure that we could get you in for a real interview, you know, when, especially when your project dropping. Let's get that. Let's get that pushing, man. Let's get that pushing. And if you come out to the hey, A, really we, we working on we work on everything. Out of the Stars Music Group. That's what I'm dropping it through. My man, through my man uh, LJ and his label and his movement that he's doing, and I'm I'm co-partnering. And okay. Swanky is the lifestyle. We're doing like a joint venture movement through this. So you know, just look for that Stars Music Group making it happen. It's always knockout. Knockout is what 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 is in me and will always. Hey, be. hey, you know what I would say? Is my company. That's my company, and that's the lifestyle that I won with, and that's the lifestyle that everybody should run. Right, and it, and it ain't going nowhere. My slogan, hold on, wait, let them know. My slogan is, if it ain't swanky, it's janky. Hmm. So you gotta pick right. a side. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm not rolling with nothing janky, so it's either you with me or forget that part. Mm-hmm. Swank. Mm-hmm. So look, another thing I wanted to say is, um, damn, you know, I, I wish that, I wish that, uh, you got to get out here, man. It would be dope hey, if, you, if you was out here. Hey, yo, if you in the hey, come down here. Let's do lunch. I got, I got some coupons, a couple of group coupons cool. that. We- <laughs> like I said, I do R and B. Check something out. Check out my, my, my songs that I got. See if we can set something up. Instrument for the late. 
Hey yo, hey yo, um, are you are you in competition with Jaquees? Cause I, last I heard, he was the king of R and B. Right now, where where you at with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, what? He's, go he, yeah, he been in he been in the gym. He been in the gym. Yeah. Listen, I don't gotta listen. Listen, ain't no running around. I gotta. I don't gotta dance around. As soon as I come out this shirt. They know what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. Women want to know what it is. I, mean, I put in that time. I put in that time in the gym where you can't go pay for it. I put in uh, that time where you got to really be that alpha male. You mm-hmm. know, that's what's lagging right now. A lot of that alpha male is gone, and I'm bringing oh, yeah. back a whole other appeal. I mean, so, you know, he's in his lane. And I'm yeah, it's a, it's a few I, out I there, shirt. My lane can't clash with nobody because I'm alpha male lane. Yeah, mm-hmm. no I feel you. I feel you. So that's that, that new school tank. He was like, I, I can take yeah. my shirt off with the best of them, huh? Yeah, that, I, I, I let them know instantly what it is. Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I, I'm not jumping off a road, baby. I'm coming right in the middle of the stage, baby. Exactly. Ain't nobody flying. I'm flying nowhere. I'm walking. It's taking <laughs> my time. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you know. I don't, you know I don't have no R and B skills. Know what's happening. You know what's happening. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm gonna let you know. I don't. I don't have no R and B skills. But uh, and I don't have a six pack, but I ain't afraid to take off my shirt with the best of them too. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, and, and then I, I've been studying the movement of uh, boys to men for a long time, so I can do that like head jerks and all that other <laughs> stuff. Like I, you know, I can pull them in. I give them bedroom eyes. Shit, you know what I'm saying? I, right. I give them some sexy, but 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 on the big guy side. You feel me? Anyway, you gonna find somebody. You gonna find somebody. Yeah. So that's the don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? I got confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I got confidence. Hey, well, look, yo, you know what yeah. yo, we appreciate you coming through, man, and we're gonna try to figure this out how we can get you to come through and actually sit down. Or we just had this conversation at the beginning of the damn show, so we won't have nobody else calling in and you know having this yeah. mix up. I'm glad we got the real. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Shorty yeah, Smollett. Hey, yo, yo, hey. Hey, God works in mysterious ways, yeah, man. Every time I leave church, I'm always hooking up with somebody in some form of mysterious way. Yeah, and it's and it, it's been this is like week number four, like some lining up, bro. So, some lining up. So look, we gotta actually get up off of here, but I'm I'm grateful that you reached out, bro, because you didn't have to. You know what I mean? And and even yeah, ho- who, you yo, oh, too, yeah, we in the A, but in the a. You, yeah. but I do. And let me give a shout out to I do know the female shorty back out there, and I do respect her. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the only shorty Mac that I ever will that I don't mind because I'm swanky anyway. Mm-hmm. So the only person, <laughs> only person I would never mind saying shorty Mac is that shorty because she's sexy. So I think <laughs> you know, that's cool with me. But man is trying to say his name. Boy, if you don't get the hell out of here, <laughs> yeah. that boy. Yeah. Hey, you you know what I what what I, I, I want to say is yo, and, and it's just just from if I if I knew you for years and I was your homie like that. I would say, and I'm, and this is how I am with everybody. I don't care who it is. Check your circle. I don't know who that is, but somebody in your circle wanted to be you and, and was throwing a little fire on you. So I definitely would just check your inner circle, figure out why would somebody do that? Because that that we didn't like. He didn't even reach out. Like C Dub didn't reach out to who that whoever that was that said. Yeah, they, this, yeah, they came out to me. I'm like, so it was kind of crazy. Chilling. You know what I mean? But I do. I do want to say I'm thankful, if, though. If, if, if they don't, if, if I, I mean, it's 2019. Yeah. Just DM me. It's just that simple. I mean, it's too damn. My face is on Google. We put Shorty Mac, like the real mm-hmm. me, like you can get to me. I'm not hard to find. Mm-hmm. I'm an easy person because I'm an actor, too. So it's like, I'm not the, I'm a will. Uh, you know, so it's not like that. You, the real, he, it's, it's hard for someone to be able to, to, uh, to fake because I, you know, I'm really accessible. Well, whatever so, you do, whatever you doing out there on the west know, side, you doing it. Know, Coach Carter, Boston Public, NYPD Blue. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, from Welfare to Millionaire. I got, I got wow. multiple for a family business for the love of Ray, uh, love yeah. and hip hop. Yeah. LA. I mean, I, I mean, my face is out there I'm yeah. every day. On yeah. Moesha Syndicate. Yeah. So my tone and the way that I talk is like he didn't even talk like me. I'm from the West Coast. We don't want to be like him. That was yeah, that, that, and that was crazy because I, well, well, like I was him. actually saying that too because I spent some months on the West Coast. It didn't even sign, you know, because I had a homeboy. He's straight West Coast. He didn't even sign. Yeah. Well, I, I look, man. Whatever you doing over there, somebody wanted to be like you, bro. So that's a blessing. Yeah, man. Listen, he sound like he's from 
North Carolina or something. He didn't sound like he was from Mobile. I'm telling you, that was not one of my pockets. Well, look, we. I heard the nigga. Yeah. So whoever it is, it's an Instagram crazy goon. So ah. I'm just saying, real shit. All right, There's so. all over the goddamn planet. So I can't go check him and see him. Because my circle is so small, I can't check it. I don't roll with nobody. All right, that's a fact. Right. I roll alone. I'm in the gym all the time. I don't roll with you, nobody. I'm an individual personality. That's why I'm swanky as a lifestyle. Keep swanky. Mm-hmm. I don't have, so I can't check a circle that's not even there. True. True. Yeah. True. Okay. True. I feel there you. We go. I feel you on that. All right, that's a bet, yo. So, so look. Like, I know it's up there. I know it has to be a crazy internet. Just somebody on it. Yeah. Yeah. Just doing what he do. Yeah. I'm just blown that dude was like, I mean, he basically, <laughs> he said, I wrote for this person yeah. and everything. But look, we, we got it, man. And yeah. we're going to have you come yeah, through you so know. we can have an actual, you know what I mean, a real. Well, let's get it, man. I'm about, yeah. to, I'm about to get back to getting this. Though, but Get I love that bread, boy. God is great. Hey, y'all hit me up. You we love you too, bruh. Salute, man. Indeed. Good look, shorty Smollett. Hey, yeah. Hey, yo. Yeah. Hey, yo. Bless you, fam. Thank y'all. Bless you. Thank y'all. Right. Thank y'all. All right. Thank you. Peace, y'all. Thank you. 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 Well, hey, what he I wanna, made something happen though. Yeah, he did. We got the real swanky on online. The real, the real one. I mean, it, I mean, it kind of made us look like we found the ball a little bit. We we apologize. I just want to know who. There. I just want to know who was doing. But the, we didn't lie. We got the real. We got the real right, cool. shorty Mac. Well, listen. What I do want to say is, I want to say uh, we thank y'all for swinging through and checking us out. You know, it's, we ran way over the time that we supposed to be up in here. I'm hungry. I don't know about you. I don't know I'm, about Oh yeah I'm starving Yeah You know that, I always eat Before I come here too uh, That's why I'm always Like showed up Yeah like, nah I normally cook for You know I normally cook Yeah I always show up Like 15-20 minutes That's always cause yeah. I gotta stop it <clears throat> You know shout out To Captain D's It's Lent So you know I can't stand Captain D's A lot of fish I need some white castle Down here in the ATL though I Hey tell man you it's that Lent much. You better get that fish In your, mm-hmm. in your system you So look I'm just thankful Y'all came through You know it's us, it's we, it's, it's DLE. DLE. I'm quite a one big deal. I'm C Dub the Entertainer. And we catch y'all here next Sunday, 6 p.m. Do not be late. You never know when some randomness is going to happen. <laughs> you bro. never know. <laughs> the most unexpected show in yeah. the world. So we're yeah. going to go out with a song and uh, we'll holler at y'all later. Oh, look, before anything, uh, we're going to let y'all know we're going to be under construction for the next couple of weeks. We're going to be still on the show, doing the show, but we're trying to make some things happen so we can be, you know, have a bigger bigger larger platform we got some opportunities for some of y'all artists that want to send y'all music in please 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 again and again and again stop sending dirty songs we need clean songs r&b artists where y'all at like where's all the r&b artists at sing your send your songs in sing your songs in send your songs all right r&b reggae whatever it is just come through we got you stop playing yep Tell her, 
give me my respect. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex. Now we gon' flex. Cut the check. Now we gon' flex. We gon' flex. We gon' flex. We gon' flex. Now cut the check. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex. I'm, I'm flexing no muscle, so if I want something, I'm taking no tussle. Demanding my respect, you better cut the check. We don't step on niggas' toes, cause we step on niggas' necks. No love is disrespect, so fuck you and your dead man. Me and Blicky Bug, late night, chase some dead man. Fully loaded this, fully loaded that. When you took so many losses, feel good to give them back. So you can check the scoreboard now, we at the top, no bill. Board. Disrespect my team, I kill for it. Do a drill for it, sit up on the hill for it. I got kids to feed and make Jello, meals for it. Give me my respect. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex. Now we gon' flex. Cut the check. Now we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, now cut the check. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex. 15 hit the strip and I was on my grind. 16 twizzy died, the opposite across the line. 17 pistols died, it made me lose my mind. I told my mama that I'm good, but she know I ain't fine. Cause every time I lead the hood, I gotta keep my eye. Been having visions of the devil, hope that I ain't dying. I told my sister that I love her, she think that I'm lying. But she know that I'm trying, and it's gonna take some time. I lost that day, that was my brother, I can't get him back. And when we catch the ops that did it, we gon' get him back. Ain't got no time to let that pressure, I'll be into that. Ain't got no time to let that pressure, I'll be into that. Tell him cut the check. Give me my respect. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex. Now we gon' flex. Cut the check. Now we gon' flex. We gon' flex. We gon' flex. We gon' flex. Now cut the check. Cut the check. Give me my respect. Now we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex, we gon' flex. Oh, it's not gonna work with that kind of transaction completed. Live CNT. If you knew how hard it is to live without 